everybody, welcome back to my channel for another episode of the Not So Very, Not So Not, no, 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 no. This is the first episode of Showtime and I am so excited to play this, oh my god. I, oh, okay. So, um, Showtime was my first ever expansion pack that I played on The Sims 3, or Sims in general. And I, it just, it has a very special place in my heart because it's, this is what started my love for The Sims was this, well, I mean the base game obviously, but like, this was my first expansion pack. I remember looking it up because I was curious and it was the newest expansion pack that it came up. So of course when I looked up The Sims 3, that was one of the first results. So I clicked on it being like, what the hell is this? I didn't know what the DLCs there were or expansion packs or anything like that. And so I was like super excited. And I don't have music for some reason. I don't know why. Is my headphones not plugged in? But, um, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, I, but I looked it up and I saw the trailer with the, the, um, people singing Firework by Katy Perry. Oh my god, that. Oh, it's making me nostalgic. I'm going to, I'm probably going to be crying in this episode, just so you're aware, probably through all of it. Um, and then I was like thinking, I was like, do I really want to buy this expansion pack? And, um, or do I want to have my family buy it for me? Cause I was only like 13 and I, haven't, I didn't have my own money. So, um, I looked it up on YouTube and I wanted to, I wanted to see the creative sim items and I was how I fell in love with Sims YouTube. I watched... The queen, who, those of you who don't know, was as was a simmer, and she unfortunately passed away seven or eight years ago. I'm not entirely sure, but it was it was absolutely devastating when I found out that she had passed away. Um, because I am a big fan of her, and so it it was hard. Um, I was like losing like, a friend that never knew I existed. But I'm probably gonna cry during this because this expansion pack is the whole reason I even have a YouTube channel. Okay? I, I mean, I mean, uh, connected. So like me wanting to watch this is how I found Queen and that's how I really wanted to be a YouTuber because of her. And um, so it's, it's connected to it. It's just, oh my God, I'm so excited. I need to figure out why I don't have music first though. Okay, I'm back. Whoops, I need to light, hold on. Forgive me. Alright, so I just... I don't know why there wasn't sound playing during the, um... The... In, the... Cinematic intro. I don't know why. I also got... I had to go get myself something to eat because I was getting lightheaded. So I have my food on my, on my plate here. But I popped into game, uh, or into my Generations game load, and there's sound, so I have no idea. We're going to pop into load a game, and we have Starlight Shores, which I did not mention, but this is my favorite world ever, okay? I love everything about this game, okay? <clears throat> Founded by, by monks over 300 years ago, the city known today as Starlight Shores was always attracted to Sims, on a mission. Aspiring singers, musicians, and other performers make pl play pilgrim I don't understand I'm supposed to say pilgrim. Pilgrim mid mages. I understand what I was trying to say, but I can't pronounce it. I apologize. We're looking for their big breaks and with its beautiful coastal setting, unique local culture, an electric array of entertainment venues performance competitors, and concerts. The city draws large crowds from all corners of the world. Many famous careers have been launched here, and new stars are being discovered every day. Who will be the next unknown sim? The talent, passion, and determination to take them from rags to riches and make their dreams come true. So, obviously, it's reminiscent to Hollywood, um, because this is, I believe we have four careers. We have singer, musician, acrobat and I think DJ the DJ I never messed with so I'm not even entirely sure um there is a DJ on the case though I'm quite positive that is one so yeah 
know. I'm just gonna pop into here. I have absolutely no idea. I kind I want to have four Sims so I can explore all those those three four different careers. And I don't know how the relations are gonna go. I don't know. Probably have two men, two women. I don't know though. I have absolutely no clue, actually. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god. I, anytime I would play, like, on my own, I would play in this world. This was my favorite world. This is the starter home that we're going to go in because that's nostalgic as hell. This is some sort of venue. So is this one, I believe this one is like a bar. It has a photo booth in it. Is it the gym? There's the diner. Oh my god, this is the movie. Which one, which one of these is the movie theater? I think it was this one. But, oh my god, I didn't really t do too much over here. Obviously, that's the, whatever, okay. Oh, and our main goal is to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. Sorry, okay, um, focus. Um, is this house. Okay, you see this bad boy? This was my, this is my favorite house, I think, of all time, of all Sims games, okay? It's beautiful, and I cannot wait to actually live in here. I... It's my goal, okay? This is this is the this is the house, okay? I tried to remake it in The Sims 4, but I hadn't actually been in this game in like centuries, so not really, obviously, I'm not that old. But I hadn't been in this house, so it was all like by memory, and it was okay, but I I'm also not the best. Um, so we're gonna go into Create a Sim right now. Showtime has my favorite Create a Sim stuff. They were beautiful. And I had, like, told myself, I was like, do I want to delete this game? Like, after I was playing this, I was like, do I want to take off that, uninstall that one so my game runs a bit better? Because I, like, I don't really play with, um, play with, with singers and stuff. So, it's like, well, do I really need it? And so, um, uh... But then I was like, but the cast items and Starlight Shores... So I'm just going to make a female and a male real fast. We're going to stop talking. I don't have, like I said, I don't have a background. I don't have any idea. All other than the fact that there's going to be four sims. That's all I know. We're going to do the men's stuff first because the men's are always super fast. Go, just, You can zoom through it pretty easily. I don't need the basics, okay? Um, let's, so, okay. <clears throat> we have what looks to be three new hairs. So we got this yes i know um which is a braided afro type of thing which unfortunately just like what the sims 4 has looks like a ball of cauliflower ball of cauliflower i don't know we got this long hair which is nice it's okay it's not the best and then there's this one which of course is a lot oh we have two more sorry so we have this one which is nice i like i do like this hair style and then there's this one which again is nice i like this okay um and we have a couple more hats so this is late night oops um so we got a uh top hat and then we got oh my god there's the genie i forgot about the genie um and we got this thing which is a bit strange but i don't hate it as much as i used to i don't know what the heck that is uh i don't i don't understand but we'll, we'll leave it on him for the time being. And in the facial hair, yes, we have this thing. Which is fine. I mean, body hair. Body hair isn't. Where do you go for tattoos again? Here, okay. And looks. So tattoos. We do got, we got a number eight ball. That. Um, ladybug. Oh, we have quite a few. Okay. We got that. A star. Whatever the heck that is. That's not. We got buttercups and like some musical things and that. Okay. Nice. Um, I need new makeup. Makeup's not really something that's pretty new. Because like when you can customize your makeup, you don't need new stuff. Um, there's some face paint. Or your like acrobats or whatever. Um, sorry if I don't sound very enthusiastic. It's just like 
I don't really care much about makeup, to be honest. I'm not in The Sims 3, at least. I don't want that loud. Okay, so we have this, like, jacket with, like, a, on, like, a off button blazers. And we got this, which looks, I like this. I like the little shark tooth or whatever. And then there's this one, which is also really nice. We got this one, which is a bit strange to me. But I, I get what it is, but it's a bit strange. And we got this. With like leather jacket with a t-shirt and like a necklace. Got this one, which honestly just looks like it. Just you need to get a shirt that fits you. Um, then just a shirt with like I don't know what kind of logo that's supposed to be. And then we got like tourist jacket or shirt with the sunglasses. Um, that one, which is nice, I like this one. And then this one, which it looks like it's five sizes too small. And then my, probably my favorite t-shirt I've ever seen is this one. I don't know why. I just, I adore it. And I like the, I just like it. I don't know. I like the baggy shirt with the shirt underneath. And then another t-shirt with a comedy thing. And then there's, there was this one that's like the graphic tee, which is obviously I think supposed to be for like a DJ. Um pants there's no new pants really oh they're down low okay why um yeah okay we're gonna take his shirt off so we can actually take like actually look at the pants did the shirt go off can you not okay you can't take his shirt off you have to actually go all the way down to the bare chest can you not actually get the, like it off completely they have to wear a shirt that's interesting. I guess I'll give him the thing that's closest to a crop top that I can. Um, so we got these pants, which obviously have like the belt buckle kind of uh, buckle pants. Um, and then we have these pants, which again have like a belt that's a little too loose and some chains, which is like very emo. Um, and we got uh, rolled up jeans these odd cargo pants and then some jeans with some holes in them I, I do love I I'm more excited for the girls so I'm kind of trying just to zoom past so we got the genie robe outfit and then we got like this odd DJ set Ooh, I forgot about this look at that oh love those and then the bunny outfit which I don't know what the bunny outfit is for um, and then for shoes, we got the genie shoes, and then we got, like, these, like, kind of cow, not cowboy boots, but they're, like, the heeled boots. And then, then just some sneakers, and then oh, these type of sneakers, which I like. Okay, any accessories? Let's take a look, because I don't remember. Not that you'd be able to see them, because he's, okay, there is earrings. Can you see them? You can. Look at that. So there is earrings, there is a watch, which I don't know why it went down to there, but there we go, there's a watch, and that's it. Um, let's take a look at traits real fast, I don't know, should we do traits? Yeah, we'll do, just do traits real fast. So we have Diva, Diva Sims are amazing, and don't you forget it, when they are, in, when they are good, they're great, but when they're bad, they're better. Okay. Um, and then we have Natural Born Performer. Natural Born Performer Sims are most comfortable on the stage and never happier than when they are in front of an audience. Social Butterfly. Social Butterfly Sims aren't happy unless they're socializing and will do just about anything to be the center of attention. Quality. No, that's the that's from, uh, uh, late night. Any new food? I don't think so. I don't know this well enough. I know that, like, oh, French toast. Oh, that's new. I did know, I do remember that, like, the fried peanut butter and, uh, gel, uh, fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches were a new thing that came with this game, but I think they later added it to the game in general. 
any music? I don't think so. And why would there be new colors? I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's pop into females. Let's take a look at them and then I will create Sims off camera. So we'll do these. So there is, um, Singograms or whatever. So there's those hats that you come with that outfit. Um, but then there's this like pompous hair, and then we have the um, top hat. We got the genie. We got this thingy. And we got the uh, this, which I think is supposed to be like a reference to Daft Punk. That maybe I don't know. Um, and then. My favorite hair of absolute all time. Like, I ain't even, like, joking when I say this. My favorite hair. This hair is just, it's so simple, but that's why I like it. It's a simple, straight cut with some framing pieces that just look, oh, look amazing. I love it. We got this, which I I don't know how to feel about it. I get what they were going for. I don't like it. Same with this one. I understand what they were going for. But there's a reason that I stayed back in the 70s, okay? Or whatever age it is, 80s, I'm not sure. There's a reason I stayed. And this one, I used to hate it when I was younger. But being an adult, I like it a bit better now. Um, and then this one, which was also one of my favorite hairstyles because I was like obsessed with side ponytails. I could never get my hair to look like that in real life though. Mm -mm. No sorry. Um, now for the outfits, which, oh my God, I love the outfits for this game. Um, we got the shirt, which is just a tank top, the necklace. I got this, which is gorgeous. This, which is also gorgeous. I just love it. These are all just so stunning. I love, I love, I just, I love. I thought there were more shirts, but we get some really goddamn cute outfits, so it's okay. Um, and then we have these, like, leather type of pants. And these disgusting capris. Like, they're not, they're not nice. They're, mm-mm. But that's okay, because we got all these cute-ass outfits. So, we got the genie outfit. Um, then we got this adorable dress. Which, ah, I love it so much. Oh, my God. I don't think there's a single dress on here that I don't love. Like, this is just, oh, um, it's stunning. Same with this one. Absolutely love the baby doll. Just, oh, I love it. This one was also nice. I used to not like it, but now that I'm older, it would look really good on, like, certain sims like with certain personalities this i love this one this outfit oh my god with like the swiss like um i don't even know what to call it but, ah, i love this so much and then this bad boy which oh my god i would wear these all the time and this one i used to hate as well because it just i don't know the, the the bra just looks a little strange to me um, it still does look a little strange, but I like it a bit more than, I, again, that I'm older. And then we got this, like, kind of, like, punky type of look. Love it. We got this. We got this romper, which is the cutest goddamn thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And then, of course, this outfit, which is just stunning. Everything about it is just gorgeous. Um, shoes. Okay, we do have some shoes. Um, we do got these, like, high-waisted button-up boots. We got these shoes, which I'm pretty sure are the genie shoes. We got these heels, which are a little lackluster. Like, I, I expected them to be higher. And then these ones, which are gorgeous boots, but I just, I'm not a big fan of the chain in the front. If, like, I could get the chain out of there, it'd be great. And then these sneakers, which I love those sneakers. Yes, queen. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, any new accessories? We did get some earrings. Okay, so we got these big old dangly doodads. And we got these, which are more like teardrop. 
And then we got the hoops. We also got this bedazzling necklace. And then another bedazzling necklace, but a little bit less bedazzly. Um, and then we got a bedazzly um, thing. Oh, I didn't see this from pets. Lots. That's cool. Um, and then we got this, which I like. It's a very, very simple, casual type of bracelet, which I appreciate. And then we got some gloves. Nice. Anything else? No. Alrighty. So there we go. There is the, the, all the cast items. I'm going to hop off camera, create the sims, and kind of go through them all with you. Alright, I'm back two hours later. I swear that took way too long, but I have my sims all made and I kind of figured out the backstory for them. So first up, we have our first sim. Okay, his name is Jedediah Holcomb. His, we'll call him Jed. This is him. Awesome man. Um, we, I'm not going to show you his outfits. We'll see them all throughout his time. But his personality is he has a good sense of humor. He's a light sleeper. He's lucky. He's neat. He's a vegetarian, which is a new trait that I forgot about. So vegetarian sims never choose to eat meat. And uh, doing so causes them to become ill. So I did forget about um, lifetime wishes. So um, let's take a look at them real fast. So I got... Master Acrobat. So many young Sims fall in love with tumbling and jump headfirst into acrobatics, hoping that their leap of faith will end in the solid, sold out performances with crowds of adoring fans. It will take years of stretching, bending, and treating burns, but great strength of body and perseverance will eventually lead him to the title of Master Acrobat. Um, then we have Vocal Legend. Everyone dream is of being the next idol, of being worshipped by millions of sims across the world. By sims, sorry. But can you work through the years of stress and obscurity to reach the heights of superstardom? Um, and then I don't know where. So see, I suck. I could have easily missed. I did miss, actually. So I don't think there is one for DJing. I can't find it on here for some reason. But we have Master Magician. I don't know why I couldn't find that. But you guys can't read it. I want you to be able to read it. So where the heck are you? It's in the M's. Master Acrobat. As all just romances. Master of the Arts. It does it not show up because it's down here. Is that why? That's stupid. Okay, reach level 10 of the magician career. So, the world of magic and illusion seems exotic and mysterious to your sim must master tricks, arranging from making small objects appear to escaping complicated death traps. It will be dangerous, but success will surely lead to fame and glory as a world-renowned illusionist. So, um, Jed here is going to be our, our magician, so that is what that is. His favorites, he likes veggie rolls, which makes sense because he's a vegetarian. Um, he likes country music, and he likes the color hot pink. His star sign is he's a Taurus, okay? So then, we have his wife, Danica. I might change her name. We'll call her Danny, okay? That's his wife. Um, this is what she looks like. I forgot to give her makeup, so I'm going to do that real fast. Even though she doesn't need it, she's very naturally beautiful. But we're going to give it to her anyway because of what her personality is, if it makes sense. Okay, so this is Danny, um, his wife. Uh, she is ambitious, diva, natural-born performer, party animal, and a social butterfly. She is going to be the vocal legend, so she's going to be our singer. Um, and then her childhood best friend, Bessie's for life, is Ashley Gallagher. And this is our... Hold on, I'll show you in a second. So this is Ashley Gallagher. Um, she is ambitious, athletic, brave, friendly, and natural born performer, and she's going to be our acrobat. And then she has her little brother, Donnie. Oh, we have a Donnie and a Danny. Ooh, I'm going to change that. Hold on. Okay, so we have Casey Gallagher. Um, like I said, he is uh, Ashley's younger brother. And he is a good sense of humor, loves the outdoors, never knew social butterfly, and a virtusio. He's going to be our DJ, but I'm pretty sure DJ is not an option. So, I don't, I don't think it is, at least. 
living in the lap of luxury i feel like that is the I, I, I don't believe that there is a lifetime wish for um that so i actually forgot to show you guys everyone's personalities not that it really matters that much so she likes grilled salmon r&b and her color is violet her sign is a leo ashley um, she likes to do surprise. She likes kids music and her favorite color is lime. And she's a Capricorn. Um, his, his favorite food is fruit, favorite music is R&B, and favorite color is black. And he is also a Taurus. Um, so there we go. There is, um, our family. We're gonna go ahead and move on into... Starlight Shores. Um, I need to edit their relationships to make sure that they're actually married. I wish you could, like, make them friends. Like, I, like, because, like, relationships don't really, like, when you move in with them, their relationship is, like, they're just friends. They're, like, acquaintances. And I kind of wish you would change, that you could have them be friends. I wish you didn't have to be, like, romantical relations. Alrighty. So, <clears throat> I know what, <coughs> sorry, what house we're going to move in because it's my favorite house. I need to turn that up just a wee bit. So there is this one here, which is two bedrooms. I have lived in that one before, but I don't like it too much. And there's that one, that's a one bedroom, and we've got a one bedroom and a one bedroom. I do like that these are trailers, which is really, really cool. I enjoy that. And then the only other starter home making sure before I say that is the one is the one that we're gonna go with which is this one just a home which is my favorite home ever we're gonna buy it furnished we can edit it as we need to but I love this house I always li live in here which I feel like we should do something different but at the same time I haven't played this game in forever so I feel like it's it's basically like I've never done it before because it's been so long Okay, oh my goodness. Let's just take a look at the house right now. So it's a it's re, it's a really cute, normal looking home. Like there's nothing about it that's super strange. Um, it's just it's just a home, you know. It's, um, you walk in through the door, which is obviously here, and then um, there's a little kitchen. There's a dining room living room area and then the two bedrooms and the bathroom that connects in the middle which is a little strange to me that like if you have guests over they have to go through a bedroom to be able to get to your to your to to, to you and it's a little strange to me but i do know that there are some um obviously there's more that there's this bed here um and it comes in green, red, and like orange, I think is what this is. Yeah, so we'll, just, we'll go with orange. Um, as you can tell, we don't really have a lot of money, but that's okay. Um, and then we have this one, which is obviously the really, really expensive bed. But um, again, we can't afford that. Um, I do need, so we don't have any single beds, no single beds no single beds but i probably will give them bunk beds which is kind of strained but i whatever okay hobbies let's see there is i don't know what that is but it looks fun so i think we'll buy one just so we oh i don't have a lot of money here is one a dj booth there which uh, you can't see it but it's like i like it because it's like it's made of like just like really like i don't know Um, I feel like I should end this part here. Eh, I don't know. We'll go through this a little bit. Um, and then we have a pull-up bar, which is cool. Um, but as for, like, um, there is a, this couch that I, like, I, that's, I love it. I don't know why. It just, it brings back good memories, I guess. And there's like a matching chair as well. 
I don't know why anyone would say no to that, because I just got like a, a thousand bucks right there. Um, but I'm going to be ending this episode here. That was the, um, the cast and all of that. That was just, I don't know, it was cast and showing off the world. I do need like something there though. Um, just showing the world real fast as we moved into the world. And then um, I'm going to just immediately start playing on the new one. We'll get them all joined into their, their careers. And um, so if you liked, please do like. Comment down below what you thought and what you'd like to see next. Um, what's the first thing you want to see? Oh, I don't even know. Ooh. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to at least play one more episode of this before. But um, yeah, if you liked, please do like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.